Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Leo's energy for your current love reading for the rest of April 2024 until your next reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. To the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Leo, Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please and thank you for letting me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them. All right, Leo. Spirit universe guides. The person that's on Leo's mind at this time. How do they currently see Leo? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. How does the person on Leo's mind currently see Leo? The person that's on Leo's mind, Spirit, what are their intentions towards Leo? And what is their next likely action towards Leo at this time? How does Leo currently see the person that's on their mind, Spirit? And what is Leo's intentions towards the person on their mind? What advice do you have here for Leo regarding the person that's on their mind, Spirit? Thank you. Spirit, for the way that the person on Leo's mind sees them being death and the eight of swords, can you clarify that for us, please, Spirit? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. Three of pentacles. Spirit, can you clarify that for us? How the person on Leo's mind currently sees them? All right, so um, Leo, the way that they, the person in your mind currently sees you as either putting an ending to feeling like the victim or ending the connection because you feel like you were done wrong and, and you're the victim in the situation. The clarifying cards was the Three of Pentacles, so the lack of wanting to work together, the lack of feeling like you can, the sensation that there is nothing to work with here, or the lack of interest to work together. And then you've got the Eight of Cups in reverse, so not walking away, possibly from the idea that there is nothing left here. They may see you as finding by, by not walking away from not dropping the idea that you are not able to work in this connection. They see you as possibly putting an end to it so that you can put an end to feeling like a victim because maybe they see you as feeling like the victim for as long as you are connected with them in any way. For as long as you feel like you're trying to work with them against the idea that 
it's not possible, that's keeping you feeling like a victim. It's reminding you of how you felt like a victim. So they see you as putting an end so that you can move on maybe from this energy. Their intentions towards you, Leo, is the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, what is the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here for the person, uh, the intentions from the person that's on Leo's mind at this time? Person that's on Leo's mind, universe, guide, spirit. Can you clarify their intentions? The king of torches in reverse. I think their intentions are to take an independent route here, to go their own way, or to come across as independent, to not work on this with you. With the king of torches in reverse, Maybe their intentions are to pull back their, their passion for the connection. To pull back their, their intention to bring passion into the connection. Spirit, can you clarify their intentions towards Leo? The Seven of Cups in reverse. I think their intentions are to disconnect with their idea that they can do anything and this connection to convince you or change your mind. Their next likely action towards you, seven of pentacles, I'm sorry, eight of pentacles in reverse. Lots of pentacles here. Spirit, what's the eight of pentacles in reverse here for their next likely action? The hanged man, I'm sorry, the hanged one in reverse. They're very, uh, rooted into not continuing a repetitive process to work on this. So can you clarify that? The judgment, yeah, they're making a judgment call here. Their next likely action is to make the judgment call and be set in it to step back from trying to work this out with you. I don't think they see any room here for them to do anything. The way that you currently see the person on your mind, Leo, is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, what's the Ace of Pentacles here and how Leo sees the person that's on their mind? We got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Torches with the Ace of Pentacles. So they see you with the passionate sword of truth. In this description, in this deck, there is blood on her. She is like, I will cut, <laughs> I will cut you. I will, I will deliver the harsh truth. There's lots of passion behind that. And it's involved with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so for this to be how you see them... Let's clarify here. Spirit, how does Leo see the person that's on their mind here? Can you clarify this? The Six of Cups in reverse. So I think you're looking back here and you see how they have shown up in your connection in the past as not very pleasant as unstable you guys were possibly you probably you possibly see that you guys you believe that you guys weren't able to create anything substantial that there was a false start there was never a foundation there was never a sense of actual stability here 
Like there's, you see them as uh, passionately in their mind, right? There's a lack of uh, cups and pentacles here. So you didn't see them as emotionally grounded or stable, very passionately and out of the mind, the space, the uh, mind space involving not being able to, it's almost like they went in, you maybe see them as originally having gone into this connection without some long-term goal or plan. Maybe you see them as someone who had entered this connection very spontaneously and for other reasons, for possibly with ill intentions. The intentions that you have towards the person that's on your mind, Leo, is the world in reverse. Spirit, why the world in reverse here for Leo towards the person on their mind? You got the sun in reverse. Spirit, can you clarify the world and the sun in reverse here for Leo's intentions towards the person on their mind? The five of swords. So your intentions here, I think, are to prove a point that you do not have a goal here to finish what you guys started. Maybe you feel like it already, it ended as soon as it started. I think there's a point here that you want to make at all costs to not create, try to recreate any sort of happiness. Maybe you feel like that would have, you know, if you would, tr if you were to try, it'd be a false sense of happiness false sense of a destination that was never planned or created in the first place so it's almost like you are trying to make sure that you're not you don't want to come across in any shape or form to this person that you are willing to see otherwise Your intentions also are to continue to convince yourself that there is no success, success, success or accomplishment in being able to bring anything back. It's almost like you can't unsee something here. The advice here from Spirit, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Spirit, what's the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse for advice for Leo? You got the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Spirit, can you clarify that for advice for Leo? This was very straight to the point here, which is kind of the energy that you're giving off. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So advice here is to not entertain it. To not try to take control of bringing any sort of stability into this. Possibly even a reminder that there is no stability in this connection for you, Leo. So your intentions to stand your place, to keep, to, to continue to be in the mindset that you're in, to not entertain this connection seems to be on point with what spirit is asking you or telling you is the smartest choice all right loves um that's what i've got for you if you have any questions or want to share your story um i would love to hear if this resonates for you if it does and until next time and always sending you love and you've got this